New tonight, Kentucky Secretary of State says voters will have more options for in-person voting in November. We don't know how many that will be just yet, but time is ticking, and those debating how to prepare are talking with political editor Chris Williams, who filed this update from Frankfurt. It went better than critics predicted. Kentucky's pandemic primary, in which most voters mailed in their ballots, also saw one polling place in Louisville and Lexington and questions about access. Friday, a working group at the Kentucky Board of Elections will hear early thoughts on how to make November work, and they're facing more than just issues with keeping people at a safe social distance. You've got one party who's skeptical of voting in person, and you've got the other party who's skeptical of mail-in voting, and we've got to try to do both of those methods in order to have an election that the country as a whole can have, a fa have faith in. Here's one thing I can tell you. There's no scenario where the governor and I are going to let the county clerks over reduce the number of voting locations. We're not going to have one voting location in Jefferson County, Fayette County, and so forth. I don't think we'll have that even in the medium sized in most of the small counties. Everybody involved suggests a hybrid is needed in person, early and absentee. But how to vote is directly impacted by the biggest hurdle. How are you going to pay for it all? The federal government covered much of the COVID-19 related costs during the primary. Kentucky budgets about $3 million for the general election. Estimates are that anything close to the primary process in November will cost $6 million plus. When you give all of those options, it's more expensive. And we're going to have to figure out how to come up with the money. To put this in perspective, we had 29% turnout for the primary, 29% of registered voters. We think we'll have about 70% of registered voters vote in the general election. So unless we can have more locations and more poll workers to handle the deluge of people coming out of the woodwork, we've got a big problem. Uh, that also means it's going to be really difficult to have no excuse absentee voting for the general because you're going to be going from probably 750,000 absentee ballots to 2 million. That's a big increase. I don't know that we have the capacity for that. So those are the things that we're looking at, but we want to make a data-driven decision. As they crunch the data, they also are reaching out to federal lawmakers like Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and House Budget Committee Chairman Representative John Yarmuth, hoping that the next coronavirus bill will make whatever works best for Kentucky affordable. At the Capitol, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.